Oh, there he comes back. He's got a crawfish. Go get it, bud. Look at him. Go, 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 go. Don't let him pinch you. There he goes. Didn't care I was here at all. <laughs> He has been steady catching crawfish and little fish today. Hey everybody, Noble Adventurer here. I am happy to be with you today. Uh, happy to have all my family with you. We have missed a week, but we had a kayaking accident that uh, just made us take a little time to reflect and spend time with family and uh, be glad we're all here. It's a miracle we all made it out of it. Um, I can't thank God enough that we're all here. So this week's video, which would have been last week's video and a couple more shots we did, where we tie flies and try them out. But I'm also gonna show you how I work the river banks and the spillways for smallmouth. So stay tuned, hope you enjoy. So these aren't traditional flies, they're tied on weighted jig heads so that I can throw them on my spinning reel because I don't have a fly rod. Yeah. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, that's a good one. That's a good little rock bass. All right, I'm gonna put them in your bucket for a little bit and we'll let them all go in a little while. All right. Couple strikes on the green dragon. That won't go too far. Little fish right in front of me. go little rock bass no we're not gonna well you can keep them in the bucket if you'd like to for a little bit okay Even small fries, like my dragon, green dragonfly. Mm -hmm. 
Well, the green dragon is a hit right off the bat. Again, it. Green dragon works. Well, we'll try the green dragon a little bit more. Let him go real quick. Uh oh, Buzz Aldrin got one. Buzz Aldrin got a decent one. Way to go, Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin. Yay. Whoa, Gannon. That was fuzzy wuzzy. I'm gonna see how big this guy is. He's been hurt by something. This might be my new personal best. Caught on my own fly, the fuzzy wuzzy. Oh, oh, here, look up, Bubba. We can get the stuff out and measure them. Here, back up just a little bit. Hey, here you go. Here you go. There you go. Oh, he's strong. Yeah, he is strong. He's been hurt, too. Okay. So uh, he's a little over, right about nine and a half. Yeah. Little guy's been hurt. Yeah, oh, yeah we're going to let him go. Not a bad one. Hold on, a fuzzy was he? Yeah, no, he don't need a band-aid. He'll be okay. Good old fuzzy was he? Einstein first. There's the mink. Little bites in the end, son. Mink being here is probably going to slow us down. There's one. Einstein's working. Nothing big, but it's caught. There you go, bud. This my minky friend. This one's uh this one oh goodness. The Einstein is the way to go. Gannon, goodness gracious! The Einstein is my lure! Oh, 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 oh. oh I knew I should have grabbed him better. He was my best I've ever caught. That was another hit. Oh, there's another good one. Oh, that's a good one. Ah, uh, not great, but good. Oh, it ain't bad. About eight inches. All right, well, Einstein is tearing him up. Einstein. Oh. But Shaggy got one. 
Ooh, decent. See how big you are, Shaggy. Got caught on the Shaggy fly. He's a good size. I mean, not as big as that one I got yesterday, but he's pretty good size. All right, we'll measure him and get back. Oh, 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 oh. No, there you don't. Okay. There he is. About ten and a half. Fat little guy, we're gonna go ahead and let him back. Oh, there he goes. He okay. You can help him get him. He went the wrong way. There he goes. All right. Not too bad on the shaggy fly. Ah, uh, that's okay. Uh, Oh, man, on this four pound, this is fun. Mouth. Oh, on the Einstein variant. Fun, fun, fun. On this little four pound test, this thing has, uh, just pulls back, has no stop. Fun. Let's figure out where you are. That little, little small mouth. It's a tiny one. Hooks are a little big for them, so not that surprising throwing them. Okay, so even though this is what I do first, it's at the end of the video because it's gonna be the most boring part of the video. I have it at double speed so the sound goes away. Uh, but this is one of the two ways that I work a new place, work a spillway, work a river, or after something's changed. Like here we had a lot of rain come through, it displaced all the fish. So what I do is I walk the bank and cast across or wade in and cast across about every six inches to a foot try to put another lure back in there something that I know works in this case I was using the Einstein fly that uh, I know works really well so and just to see what's there and what's hitting you know this is tedious it takes a while but you're gonna know where your pockets of fish are just by the bites that you get so you're gonna have an idea of where to fish and you're gonna have an idea where junk is like that that's coming off the hook right now. So the other thing that I'll do is look for movement along the bank. So small mouth, crappie, everything will move eventually and they'll stir the water. And you can see that when you're looking. You don't always get that chance, especially if it's flowing water. So you have to work the bank. <laughs> this is how you work it. This is the secret to finding out where the fish are in every new spot you go to. So, hope you enjoy. Happy fishing to everybody. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. <laughs>